How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mark Santos and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys my top 20 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 13.5. I put a lot of work into trying to find the best and newest free tweaks for you guys. So if you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel. I post a lot of other videos here that are also not jailbreak related. I post about my life and a lot of lifestyle videos. So if you want to check that out, make sure you go into my channel and go watch those videos. I also have a lot of jailbreak tweak videos and I'm gonna leave a card right here for you guys to watch my other jailbreak tweak videos in case you wanna see more tweaks. But before we get started, I just wanted you all to know that all the tweaks and sources are gonna be in the description of this video. So if you wanna get those, they are in the description. Let's get right into the tweaks. I want to start with counter because it's just an amazing tweak that adds a module to your control center and shows how many times you've unlocked your device. To reset the counter, you just step on it. It's really simple, but yet elegant. So I just reset it. And if you've ever wondered how many times you unlock your phone, you don't have to wonder anymore with counter. Sentinel is an amazing tweak that stops you having to read your break your device whenever your battery dies. When your device reaches a set percentage, it's 3% by default, but you can change that over here in the settings. It will initiate a fake shutdown. So it's gonna turn off your device. It's gonna be a black screen. It's gonna turn off Wi-Fi, cellular data, everything. So you have time to go to a plug and charge your device before it dies and you don't have to re-jailbreak it. Alarm groups lets you create alarms and add existing alarms to groups. So for example, you can have a morning alarm that will start going off at 8 a.m. and we'll have four alarms with intervals of 10 minutes each and we'll wake you up at 8.30 a.m. This is super useful and it just organizes everything so much better. I have all these alarms set up and I love this tweak. Repo Finder is a really cool app that lets you find repositories. Custom Sounds 13 is a tweak that aims to allow users to customize the sounds their device makes. You can change the chart sound, the keyboard sound, the lock sound, the unlock sound, and the volume sound all in one place. Cider completely changes the UI of CD while keeping the same familiar design we've grown to love over the years. So if you take a look at my Cydia, you can notice the difference right away. It just looks so much nicer and it just gives it a better iOS 13 user interface look to it. Safari and Messages adds functionality in the native Messages app to conveniently open links directly within Messages rather than launches Safari. TouchFlow shows your touches on the screen and it's a completely customizable tool and it's a really nice tool to use whenever you're recording videos or sending a screen recording or just because it's honestly really satisfying. Power settings adds power options right to the top of your settings app. And it's really nice because it gives you a lot of options over here. It lets you restart your springboard, enter safe mode, soft reboot your device, clean the cache, and also completely shut down your device right within the settings app, right within the settings app. Better CC6 completely changes the way your control center looks like and it gives you an enhanced connectivity and music modules. So if you check over here on the top of my control center, we have a really well designed UI for your control center. I really recommend you guys installing this. It's honestly one of the best UI redesigns I found so far. Small Siri is a famous tweak that you guys probably heard about before, but it just got much better recently. I've read a lot of Reddit posts about it, so I decided to finally add it to my tweaks list. I personally didn't use it before, but now that they fixed a lot of the bugs, I decided to install it. So if you didn't install it before because you thought it was gonna not work or something, I can assure to you that small Siri is gonna work. And it's just so nice because sometimes you just wanna tell Siri to call someone or something and you don't want it to take it the whole screen. But if you do want it to take the whole screen, you can easily just swipe down and boom, it takes the whole screen. The light that I was using behind died. However, now we are into folded and folded lets you completely customize your folders. Let me apply the settings that I just put in here and respring my device and show you guys what an amazing app folded is. So I just changed the background color of my folder and I also added an extra row. So if I wanted to add another icon down here, I could. So now I have four rows within 
my folders. However, this is completely customizable. Folder has a bunch of features to allow you to customize your folders as much as you can imagine. App Firewall intercepts outbound connections and prompts you for your permission before continuing. It's similar to iOS's other permissions and lets you take full control of apps network access. So for example, I just got into YouTube right here and it's asking me if I want to allow YouTube to access their API. So I'm going to allow because I trust YouTube, um, but this is really useful with sketchy apps that are trying to collect your data. The main apps that you've been using already, we all know that they collect your data and can't really do anything about it. But but I trust those big companies a little bit more than um, just a random app that is just trying to like, I don't know, steal my passwords or something. So App Firewall, really useful for protection. The only annoying thing is that after you download it, every time you go into an app for the first time, it's gonna ask you to allow it. But after you allow it for all the apps that you use, it will not ask for it again. So it's really cool because you can actually see what all your apps are connecting to. TikTok confirms gives you the opportunity to show the confirmations pop-up alert before taking actions on TikTok when videos are playing in the feed. Let's say I'm scrolling and then by accident I click to follow someone, it gives me a pop-up to confirm that I actually want to follow that person. The next tweak is Runaway and it not only lets you show seconds in your clock but it also shows network speeds under the time in the status bar. 3D Badge Clear lets you clear your badges from the Force Touch slash 3D Touch menu and it only appears on apps that have badges. So for example, I have this badge over here on this app, you can just press and hold on it and then click clear badge and the badge disappears. Corona status is a simple widget that displays case information about COVID-19. It's really cool because you can see all the information about coronavirus right here on your home screen. No square mode is just a simple tweak that disables square mode in the camera app with just one switch in the settings app. So let me show you guys here on my camera app that I don't have the square mode anymore because I personally don't find it necessary to have the square mode here when I can just crop the image into a square afterwards if I want to. And before I show you guys the last tweak of the list, I just wanted to ask you guys to please subscribe if you watched the video all the way to here and leave a comment down below letting me know if you want to see more videos like this one. So the last tweak is Spotlight Delete, and it's small improvement tweaks like this that makes me love jailbreaking even more. When I saw this, I was just thinking, I can't believe that this is in stock. Um, it's really simple, but it just allows you to delete apps right from the Spotlight search. So if you wanted to delete this app, you now can with Spotlight Delete. If you wanna see more jailbreak videos, click right here and go watch those because I have a lot of cool tweaks over there. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and bye.